Hey everyone, I've had a few people ask about how we set up our stream for our community game nights using Rocket League and Fortnite. So I figured I'd just do a short tutorial on how to set that up or how you could easily set that up. So we use Streamlabs OBS, which is what you see here. Um, and that has your canvas kind of on the top, your scenes on the left, and then sources in the middle, and then our audio is on the right hand side. The first thing you'd want to do though is probably log in to whichever service you're going to use to stream. Um, it's kind of up to you which service you want to use. We use Twitch and a Facebook page, but you might use YouTube if your school is a Google for Education school, or you might use Mixer because the latency on Mixer is very low and it shows pretty close to live what's actually going on. So I'm going to log into Twitch. And once you're logged in, the next thing you'll probably want to do is go into the settings and auto optimize your stream. So this will kind of run and look at what your computer is, what your bandwidth is, and set it up for you. You can also go in and change all those things. Some of the things that I would probably look at is video. Make sure your base canvas resolution is probably the same size as your screen and your um, frames per second is either 30 or 60. But all this stuff is things that you would, you could go in and take a look at and change um, but that's kind of up to you to decide what works best for you. So now that I have this open, um, I'm gonna, I have added a scene that's called gameplay. I'm gonna first though add my stream starting scene. And this is just gonna kind of be something that I have up when the stream starts just to have everything ready and not go straight into the gameplay. Give some people some time to get in and watch the stream. So I'm just going to add a background image as a source. So under your sources, you click the plus button. I'm going to add an image, hit add source, and I'm just going to call this background. I'm going to click browse and find it on my computer. Click done and it's in there. Something I would suggest doing is now that I have this background image in my sources is locking it into place because as you add more things, you might try and grab something to move it and accidentally grab this and just kind of mess up your layout. So go ahead and lock that in place. I'm going to add a second image that's our school. I would add a second image that would be our school logo, but instead of that, I'm going to add some text that just says stream starting. So I'm going to do the text, add source add source and right here where it says text I'm going to type in stream starting and that shows up on your screen um, it's hard to see there so I'm going to change the font color to black and then I'm also going to change the size up a little bit and something else that you can do is add a background color um, so I'm going to Add that as white and then change the change this slider right here up to about 60% so that I can still kind of see through it but it shows up on there and then I'm just going to move this to stream starting and in here you can really add anything that works for your stream so I have the stream starting and I added this already so a gameplay scene so I just would click add new scene I titled it gameplay and this is now where I'm going to put in put in my Rocket League gameplay. So I need to add Rocket League as a source. I'm going to click plus and I have to, you have to already have Rocket League open so it's open right now for me. I'm going to click game capture, click add source. I'm going to just name this Rocket League. And it auto finds it for me. If it didn't find it, you'd go down here and say capture specific window and then in the window I'm gonna select Rocket League. So now Rocket League's up as I go into the into the game and if I click things it changes. So something I would suggest is having two monitors if you can. Um, that makes things a lot easier to be able to have the game on one monitor and the stream on another monitor if you're doing this with a one computer setup. So again, I'm going to lock Rocket League in there. And I'm going to add a source of my webcam. So this is something you could do if you have a webcam 
Um, if you're doing this with students, please make sure you get permission from their parents. So I'm going to click uh, video capture device, add source, name that webcam. It finds my webcam and it puts it up on my screen. You can go through and there's a lot of different um, options on what you can do. But I'm going to just move my webcam down here and you can see that it shows my my shelf on the side there. So I'm going to crop this a little bit to crop. You hold down the Alt key and then move it. And as you can see, I also have a green screen. So I'm going to right click on this, go into filters, add a filter and select the chroma key filter. When I click done, then it gives me some options here to change my slider around a little bit. Um, you can change colors and things like that, but this is quick and easy. We'll get that on there. So that's really how to add your own gameplay. You might add a stream ending scene. Um, the next thing that you could do is just click go live. It's gonna ask you, ask you to put in what game you're playing and maybe a title for the stream. But then I also want to show you what all of our actual scenes for our school stream look like. So here is our school stream. We have a stream starting and in the sources we have a few different things. So if we're running Fortnite, our join Fortnite's up. If we're running Rocket League, our join Rocket League is up. And then all of these are just images or text that goes in there. For Rocket League, um, basically same as it was set up before. I do have the join Rocket League text up there, but when the games are actually going on, that can be hidden by clicking the little eye on the right there. Um, and then also have the camera put in, but you can turn that on and off as you go through. We also have one for a Rocket League guest. So if we have more than one person in, um, it's set up a little bit differently. To do that, it's a little more complicated, but we use Zoom for the video or Google Meets. And then we use Discord to share the game screen um, in a Discord server with so that the other people can still see it. Because if you try and share the screen through Zoom or Google Meets, um, it doesn't really look very good. Then we also have a stream ending that's the same as kind of our stream starting, just has the information um, about our school and things like that. Um, we also have some over here for Fortnite or our stream. Um, that won't show up though if I do it right now because I don't have Fortnite open. But then we also have our stream right back. So if we're setting up between games, um, we put the, the next join match things up here. And you can change those. And then we also have a countdown timer with another program. But that is basically how our stream is set up. Um, and this is with Streamlabs OBS. If you're using just regular OBS, it's all very similar, but there are a few differences. Um, but that is how our stream is set up.